So I still remember the day that I got my AGA Research Scholar Award. I was sitting at home doing research uh, and I saw an email come across my inbox. And when I opened it, I was so ecstatic. I ran to my wife and we were both super excited because it was a resubmission for me and actually my first year on as faculty at UC San Diego. Uh, I called my research mentor, Bill Sanborn, and the sense of excitement in his voice was a once in a lifetime experience and something I'll never forget. And I think the second moment that I remember, really remember the award and the notification was when Lin Chang, the governing board member, called me. I was standing in the airport with my wife uh, about to go on a trip. And the sense of excitement she had for me being a research scholar and the sense of support and um, inclusion that I felt that I was part of a family was something I'll never forget. So I'm a physician scientist. I spend about half the time in the week seeing patients, uh, predominantly, with, predominantly with inflammatory bowel disease. Uh, my research areas have focused largely on prediction modeling and personalization of therapies with a specific goal of trying to help patients decide between the different biologics available to them and understanding what their relative probability of response is and what drug might be the best for them to optimize benefit while minimizing risk. So the thing that I've enjoyed most about my research is that um, beyond the scientific aspects of prediction modeling and machine learning, um, transforming these tools into easy to use point systems, which uh, you can use at bedside and just print out, walk through with a patient and give them a visual demonstration of what their disease course would look like with a specific therapy. And I think the biggest trouble we've had in the field of inflammatory bowel disease is trying to understand what the right drug is and trying to explain to a patient very succinctly what they should have in terms of expectations. And I think the, the easy to use part of the decision support tool will hopefully allow for better dissemination and allow more providers to have that conversation uh, much easier. One of the most rewarding experiences for me personally was actually when I was in clinic uh, and a patient was having a tough time trying to figure out what drug to start and I pulled out the decision support tool that I had made and walked through the entire process with them and at the end of it you could see a sense of relief wash over their face and a sense of understanding that they felt comfortable with the decisions they were about to make. And I think the second most rewarding part was when I saw my mentor pull out the decision support tool and do the same thing with a patient he was seeing in clinic, which made it really clear that this had some utility and people really did feel like it was something that benefited them and helped them engage with patients. One of the things that we struggle with often as physician scientists is that the first few years as faculty out of fellowship, if we don't get established with our research, we run the risk of becoming predominantly clinical and walking away from some of the research endeavors that we had um, sought out. The AGA Research Scholar Award grant has offered me the time and opportunity to really spend a lot of energy and effort on my research, and without it, I'm not sure if I would have been able to pursue this for my career. So I'd like to thank the donors who have supported the AGA Research Foundation. Without the funding and support you've provided, none of this would be possible. And the research we're doing is impacting lives on a daily basis, and our personal experiences and our careers are being influenced by your support, so thank you so much.